Shalom. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Um, how y'all doing to the 12 tribes worldwide? I pray all is well. This is uh, Morios Yahoo. I thought I'd take a moment and uh, make a video, hopefully a very informative video, that will help the whole world understand something. Shalom, shalom, shalom. See so you coming in the room. Uh, trying to help the whole world understand something about what Hebrew Israelites believe. I know recently, um, well, it hasn't been recent, but people have been, you know, uh, just commenting all over social media about who we are and what we are and what we believe. And it's incredible because um, we believe the Bible. In short, we, those of us from Hebrew Israelite descent, we believe all the scriptures. We believe the Bible. We believe scripture. Uh, this idea, oh, you know, I think they believe it. I think they're violent. That is, I told you all this on the Shabbat. There is no evidence of any Hebrew Israelite teachings I'm talking about because we teach from the scripture. Now you might get some crazy people in, uh, that claim to be Hebrews teaching their own man-made doctrine, but what we believe uh, is the scriptures. We believe the scriptures and we believe all the scriptures. Um, that's what we believe. So when you look up um, online and they say, well, what do they, what do y'all actually believe? <laughs> the Bible. <laughs> Zion, if you understand that we believe the Bible, put a number seven in this room. I know this is an early chat. I'm not going to be on here long, but I want to say we believe the scriptures. We believe all scripture. We believe all scripture sevens rolling in this live stream and we just came on right now just 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 now we believe all the scriptures so what makes us different than everybody else we believe all the scripture <laughs> we don't pick and choose we don't have the favorites and all that no we believe all scripture say well where did y'all get that from that you're gonna believe the whole Bible? <laughs> Yes, we believe the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation. We believe the whole thing. That's what we believe. I say, well, did you come up with that? Or is that scripture? Oh, my goodness. In the book of uh, 2 Timothy, um, if y'all have that, um, one administrator, if y'all in the room, Put this up. Second Timothy, because I'm at the park. I don't have my Bible with me. I'm, I'm just sitting here at the park. Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. If you can put that in the room. So when people ask, what do we believe? What do we believe? Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All right, I see that. Can you actually play? Uh, can you actually put the verse, like copy and paste the verse into the room? Because it's going to tell you something about us that I think the world should know. And I'm going to keep this video short. It tells us, tells the world that we believe that all, we believe that all scripture, not some, all scripture is given to us. Now, um... It's given to us by inspiration. Now, the person writing that, okay, thank you, whoever put that in there, appreciate that. All scripture is given to us by inspiration, by given to us by Yah, by, to, from men um, that are inspired. There we go. Um, and it's good for, and it's profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, and instruction in righteousness. So we got four things right there in that list of things that we believe. So let me, first of all, qualify. 
the fact that the person writing this is a Hebrew Israelite. <laughs> Paul, the apostle, who, whose name was Shaul, is a Hebrew Israelite of his own confession in the book of Romans and in the book of Philippians. He says, I'm a Hebrew and I'm an Israelite. So Paul is a Hebrew Israelite. He is also of like faith. And would you consider him after his conversion to the Hebrew Israelite faith? Would you, would you consider him to be a mass murderer? No, 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 no. Now, pre or before he knew who he was, he was persecuting those that were following Hamashiach. But when he met Hamashiach, he became a changed man. And obviously he started teaching the truth that all scripture is given by inspiration of Yah and is good. And is good, that word is profitable, means that is good for doctrine. That's what we teach. It's good for teaching. So we believe as Hebrews. So what do y'all believe? The whole Bible. The whole Bible. Therefore, when you see these crazed uh, uh, Israelites and these uh, mentally ill Israelites, or you see, like recently, this whole false flag where they tried to find somebody that was in prison, was in the military, saying that him and his woman did a Bonnie and Clyde in the name of Hebrew Israel. Y'all know they lying. Don't watch that stuff. That is them trying to create a scenario and, and write a narrative that have nothing to do with people. Matter of fact, to be honest, the so-called Christian church is, <laughs> they too claim to believe the Bible. <laughs> now we know they don't, but I'm saying they say they do, even though they're getting ready for Christmas right now. <laughs> We believe the whole Bible, so we're not going to skip over Jeremiah chapter 10. We're not cutting down no trees. We ain't decking that with no silver and gold. Why? Because we believe the whole Bible. When it comes to Easter, we're not going to go hunt no eggs. We're not making cakes to the queen of heaven. None of that stuff. We don't do that. No, because we, as the bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov, of the chosen, Abraham first called Hebrew, Y'all know that's the truth. And then we are his descendants. We are his, his grandchildren. We believe the whole Bible. So we don't believe in killing the innocent. Who, who ever told you that? We don't do no mass murderers. That's them, that's them Baptists and Presbyterians. And <laughs> Won't y'all find out where they went to school? Where they went to Sunday school? Won't you, won't you um, interview some of these people shooting up these uh, schools and shooting up a college and shooting up uh, these nightclubs and shooting up, uh, find out where they went to Sunday school. Because everybody, all of them went to some kind of Christian church. But see, in the Christian church, they don't believe the whole Bible. They believe parts of the Bible have been done away with. And while we believe that all the scriptures are good, that is the teaching. Now watch this. And I did this on purpose. I chose a New Testament verse on purpose to show you that in the New Testament, Paul was teaching that all scripture was inspired by Yah and is good and is profitable. Put that back up there one more time. Put that back in the room one more time. If y'all got it up to this point, as I said, it's going to be a short video. If right now you understand that all scripture is given to us by Yah, would you put an 11 in this room, please? Put an 11 in this room. I want y'all to be on the same page. All right, so, ooh, them 11s is coming in here so fast. Boy, as soon as I asked for them. So we already know then, based on the scriptures that Hebrews just believe all scripture. We're not letting people tell us what we can and can believe about the Bible. No, we're reading it for ourselves. And the second thing is we're learning the teaching. All right, the second thing. Put it back up one more time, Z. Because I want people to see it. It's profit for doctrine and for what? Reproof. That's the second thing we believe. 
We believe that, the, that all the scripture is good for reproof. What does that mean? That means that when a person is going off track, we believe that it is the scriptures that put us back on track. The scriptures reprove us, or we believe in the power of the scriptures to discipline us, which means that as a Hebrew Israelite, we not only believe the scriptures for doctrine, but we believe the, scripture, the scriptures as a way of discipline us, discipline us or letting us know when we are getting off track. All right, the third thing, put it back in the room one more time. It's gonna say correction, watch. Put it back in the room. One more time, we gotta see that verse because I, I, I don't have my script in front of me. I want everybody to see this. As we seek to clarify something about what do Hebrews believe. All right, you see reproof and then it says, for correction. What do we believe as Hebrews? That, that once we are told we are off track, that it is now the scriptures that directs us back on track. That is correction. Do y'all see it? What do we believe? We believe all scripture. We believe it's good for teaching. Number two, we believe it's good for reproof. Number three, we believe that it is the text that corrects us. So even if we were doing something as a group of people, as a community, and we realized by reading script that it wasn't according to Torah, we got to stop it. So this idea trying to paint Hebrews as a group of people who are out here, uh, what, some poverty law center going to tell us that we are a violent or uh, listed us as a hate group. How in the world is that possible unless you're going to claim that everybody who believes the scripture is a hate group? That's not, that's not what we believe. How, how? And first of all, they're using a, the wrong term. In, in the Hebrew faith, we don't even hate people like with the emotional kind of thing. The only type of hatred is that a, is allowed by us according to the script it has to be righteous indignation. It has to be perfect. In other words, it has to be only in line with what Yah hates. If that made sense to you, that we are not allowed to hate people based on skin tone, skin color, hair texture, how they talk, where they're from. If you understand that, put a 21 in this room. Let the whole world know we're not going to play that guilt by association because some crazed, um, probably some um, Manchurian candidate person been triggered to go do some crazy thing. We don't shoot up people in no delis. We don't take our kids and strap them with dynamite and tell them to go to school and pull the trigger. We do not. We're not that kind of people. Y'all going to have to stop doing that to us. We ain't shot up no schools. We don't shoot up no post offices. No, because we believe in all scripture. And therefore, we are humbled by the scripture. And we don't believe in racism. None. And if there's anybody out there teaching racism, um, they are not teaching scripture. They're teaching some man-made doctrine that we do not believe and that we do not follow. We believe the scripture. Ooh, them 21s is rolling still. They sh Ooh, sure is. Hallelujah. Understanding is going forth. What do Hebrew Israelites believe? We believe in all the scriptures. So even when we get off track, so think about our life. Oh, let me give you the last one. And instruction in righteousness. Put that back up one more again. Put the verse in the room one more time, Z. Because I want you to see that last thing that, that Paul said this. Now, I, he's a Hebrew Israelite. Paul is the he, a Hebrew Israelite. It says, for correction as in Torah, or somebody said for instruction in righteousness. See it? There it is. So what does that mean? Think of it as a circle. Think of our journey as beginning with Yah and then having to go through a process of a circle and ending back with Yah. So we start walking with him. 
and then something pulls us off base. Oh, boy, now we got to get corrected. I mean, now we have to be reproved. Why? We stepped off the path. Hey, hey, get back on the right path. That's reproof. Hey, you going the wrong way. You liable to uh, go out there and die or, or, or break your neck or, 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 or end up lost. That's reproof. All right? Then once a person says, oh, man, I'm tripping. I didn't realize I was off track. So then we give them what? Now they need instructions or correction. So we tell them, now listen, turn around right there, walk back over. You're going to see the path is going to start again right here. So then that person then gets back on the path. Now, the last part says instruction in righteousness, which means now that person has to walk Zadik. So we believe that the, te that the scriptures then teaches them how to stay on the righteous path, which righteousness is Torah. <laughs> so Torah is good teaching to us. Torah reproves us, lets us know when we're off. Torah tells us how to get back on. Torah tells us once we're on track, how to continue to walk in righteousness that pleases I by Yah. And we're all in a growth process. <laughs> that's what Hebrew Israelites believe. And that's why we're steadfast and unmovable when it comes to, the, uh, uh, to our beliefs because we believe the whole book. We don't believe none of it's been done away. That's why we don't eat pigs and, and bottom feeders and, and skunks and roaches. Uh, that's why we don't eat that stuff. Why? Because the text says, and we don't believe that none of it's been done away with. That at one time, did we eat it? Yeah, we was all messed up. But then what happened? The scriptures called to us, say, hey, y'all don't be eating it. That's why you got high blood pressure, you're sick, blah, blah, blah. So we said, oh, we got to stop that. Well, what do we do? We came to the scripture. That was the correction. We got on the right path, got the right diet, started eating that. Now we're feeling better because that's how we, that's how we roll. That's how we walk as a people. If you can understand that. Please, please, please put a 29 in this room if that made perfectly good sense. 29 is already coming. It makes perfectly good sense. Same way, when it comes to these pagan feast days, we was all doing the Christmas tree, had no idea that the Christmas tree was a male penis, and we didn't realize that the, that the gifts under the tree was bowing down to the penis so that you could receive a blessing. From the devil? We didn't know that. We didn't know that Santa Claus was a demon with two faces. But while we was in the midst of it, the scriptures yelled out to us, don't do the way of the heathen. And we was like, we didn't know that was the way of the heathen. Well, then the scripture then showed us the correct way. Oh, we're supposed to be dedicating ourselves this time of year to the most high Yah. Not following man-made traditions. So then what happened? The word reproved us. Stop. you on the wrong track. Then well, what are we supposed to do? corrected us by the Torah, put us on the righteous path, and now we are steady following Torah. We left all that pagan stuff behind, and we only now follow the biblical feasts and the feasts that he told us to follow. <laughs> That's what Hebrews believe, the whole book, because all scripture is Yah breathe. Yahuwah through the Ruach HaKodesh breathe out the scriptures of truth, which is emet, which is now in our lev, in our heart, which now becomes the authority within. So don't let nobody pull you off track, Zion. I wanted to keep this video short. So I want to ask everybody if this was worth tuning in to and it helped you get understanding of what we really believe based on what one of our greatest teachers, Paul, taught us to believe, put a 100 in this room, put a hallelujah, 100 in this room, and I pray that this has given you encouragement. And anybody say, well, what do y'all believe? Tell them, click on the ARC video where Moray does a little short video, less than 20 minutes long, on what we believe as Hebrews, and you'll understand we believe the whole book. Hallelujah for them hundreds rolling through here to the 12 tribes of Israel worldwide. Don't let nobody shake your faith in this last hour. Our king is coming soon, and we want to be prepared to meet him. Hallelujah. 
Shalom to the 12 tribes worldwide. I need to go use the bathroom.